getting close to wrapping up day two at Warrior Expo West 2013. Um, it's been an awesome ride. We One of our last vendors today, uh, last but not least, is New Balance. Hey, Roland, how are you doing today? Good to see you again, Todd. Good How's it going? You. Good to see you too. Um, so you've got a few different products. We've got Definitely. three, three uh, categories to run through. Correct. One of them is uh, the women's sports bra, and then you also have the boy the shorts. The boy shorts, exactly. So, okay. so uh, explain this. It's not just a sports bra, bra or a boy short. Correct. It has some different... Definitely performance enhancing benefits. Uh, not only is it wicking and drying fast, but it's also flame resistant. Right. And as far as we know, it's the only Army authorized flame resistant ensemble for women. It's just recently authorized. Correct. correct. This year. And as you know, uh, the free solicitation was issued a couple years ago, but there were no women specific undergarments. And in light of the major changes in women in the military, either new jobs opening up, women-specific plate carriers, women-specific uniforms, it's really great that the Army finally authorized the next to skin garment for wicking drying, but also for safety. Right, they've kind of gotten the short end of the stick for a long time. Historically, so, they always have. Yes, but I mean, it's important that they have stuff that is comfortable, right. performance-based, and also fits them. It's critical, all the fancy insulation layers, outer layers, they only work if you're moving moisture off your body, right. and that starts with next to the skin garments. It does. And, and New Balance has been doing this for a long time. Yep, we've been a proud supplier of uh, footwear to the Navy and the Marine Corps for 30 years with their recruits. Uh, Marine Corps running suit, uh, and a whole host of base layers that are worn by every branch. Right. So let's talk about the footwear. Sure. Uh, minimal footwear has been a big trend these last few years. It has. Uh, and I New Balance really dove in. I mean. That you guys are one of the few companies that said, hey, we're going to embrace this, we're going to invent the technology and everything behind Definitely. it. Definitely. We have a whole collection from indoor workout, more functional fitness CrossFit, trail running, and uh, road running. The road running shoe is over at the booth, but these are the these are some of the models that are incredibly popular. I mean, they've been very good. I mean, I've worn them. I wear you guys them CrossFit. Yep. Yep, quite so a CrossFit. So you bit. think about uh, indoor workout, CrossFit, functional fitness versus running. One is a forward motion sport. One is more of a lateral base sport. Sport. Right. So the indoor shoes, we tend to have a wider platform in the forefoot because there's a lot of loading up on the ball of the foot and generating power that uh, laterally. And running is more forward, more shock absorbing. Indoor, you're trying to push weight. It's flat. Not, you want to be flat, not yeah, leaning exactly. forward. Exactly. Uh, have a good strong base. And we would highly recommend. I know there's a warning label on the box. If you haven't utilized minimal shoes in your training. There's a third party link on our website called Good Form Running. Right. I would highly recommend getting educated before you start working out in minimal footwear because we don't want to get you hurt. No, because those people, when they grew up, use the heel to toe exactly. concept rather than running on the balls of your feet, Correct. which were really built to, I mean, I guess there's different theories on both sides. Different but, theories, it's an appropriate tool for a lot of people, but you just need to be wise when you adopt it. It is, you can't run heel to toe with these. No, you do not want <laughs> yeah. to be doing that. You'll have a bad next Even day. the most efficient runners want to be in the ball of their feet, the 110 pound person. They do. And then just brought one new boot we did last year. It was a collaborative effort. There's a design team that used to work for our Terex. Right. They partnered with our footwear team and we came up with this really lightweight Vibram sold Prima Loft boot. Just the so super- So it's insulation, it's for so you, hi hiking. Hiking, mountainous environments, cold environments. But the neat thing about it, you get to run with a lighter weight sock, so you embrace the athletic fit of the shoe. You're not overly stuffing the boot with a heavy sock for insulation, right, I got it. which can negate the fit of the shoe. Because mo mo most either have a gore membrane in it, Correct. and it's very thin material, so it doesn't really protect or have insulation Correct. properties. But this actually has Prima Loft right, in it. Prima Loft in it, nice Vibram sole, athletic fit, very lightweight. Nice, good color. So it, like, fits their Arcteryx Wolf. Exactly. Kind of color. Okay. <laughs> All right, Roland, so t tell us about the uh, Merino wool base layer sy sure. system that you guys want. As you know, and some of the folks watching this may know that I have a little bit of experience with wool, specifically socks. Right, I did. So did socks for seven years, really proud of what we did, but learned a lot about wool, a lot about domestic wool. So what we did when I got to New Balance is partnered with a mill, really sophisticated knitting, and came up with a six piece Merino wool layering system. We've got lightweight t-shirts, boxers, and long johns. So it comes two, two weights of fabric. Two weights, right. exactly. Lightweight and midweight. So the wool is a blended wool, so we've blended the wool with ecstatic rayon and nylon, so it's a nice stable fiber, okay. fabric. You get the benefits of wool regulating temperature over big, big swings in ambient temperature and exertion, but with the synthetics, it sheds moisture faster than 100% wool. Nice. 
So kind of talk about some of the sure. pieces you brought. So we brought the lightweight t-shirt. As you see, we've spliced in the mesh. The, so where, where, where the heat right, areas are. Right, the mesh are. is the fastest, what fastest drying, most breathable of the three fabrics. So trying to be very strategic where we place the fabrics to optimize performance, reduce bulk. I see there's a raglan. Yes. So, so, so if you have plates or anything. Exactly. All the load bearing straps are on a nice four five, thread polyester with fluff in the back so it soft X the skin, yeah. comfortable, no hot spots. So I really like the wool. It has definitely been worn at 100 plus temperatures in Afghanistan in the summer, but it really excels, it outshines the synthetic base layers in cool to cold weather. It does, and wet. It, it keeps you warm and wet. Anytime yeah. we're when people tell me we need a survival system, I'm in and around water, I'm going to the mountains, I don't know what I'm going to encounter, but I'm going to sweat a lot and then I'm not going to generate any heat. Right. I go right to wool when someone tells it me is. that. I know, I mean, people know it from the socks. Exactly. And then the, now the base layers. So with the mid-weight, I like to dress thin next to the skin, move the moisture off my body as fast as possible. So just some neat details. We did the entire back with the mesh to enhance comfort, breathability. So you've got a ruck, a plate carrier, you're in a cockpit. Men seat. sweat a lot on their back. Right. You add pressure and weight, you sweat even more. So we put that fabric there. Heavier weight fabric where load bearing straps are the waist attachment for items, kept the durable fabric where the abrasion is going to be. Thumb holes. Thumb holes, so it layer, layers up really nice. This. So who's using this right now? Uh, I would say more on the naval SOCOM side, Okay. for sure. And so you'll have all different types, of, so you have like long johns. Boxers, long johns and two weights, long sleeve, short sleeve and lightweight tees, and then the midweight top. And is this the only color it comes in? It does right now. Okay. So with the current camo pattern being multicam, uh, base layers in Coyote Brown were the appropriate one to link up with that exterior jacket. Got it. Well, I appreciate you coming over. This is great. Us. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.